Oh, this one. Okay. I want to take two. Uh, hello, hello everyone. Hello, um, thank you, thank you for for joining us uh, today. I would like to to start by thanking uh, Fundação Macau and Fundação Rui Cunha for allowing us <coughs> allowing us to do these the, these lectures. Um, uh, actually, this is the, the last one in a series that began in uh, 2018. So I cannot think of a better way to, to finish this, this journey. Uh, however, many more will follow. We will keep you posted on future events. Um, of course, thank uh, Professor Yamana and all of you uh, who join us today. Um, I'm, I'm very excited for the for the presence of Professor Yamana and the subject that we will be dealing uh, today, because today we will be we will uh, talk about uh, part of history of uh, architecture in Japan, which is uh, less known. Uh, mostly, we are familiar with the uh, history of architecture in Japan from the 1970s onwards. However. Uh, Prior to that period, and uh, and and mainly the the uh, the period in history in which uh, traditional Japanese construction uh, meets the uh, modern construction, and what led to that event is uh, much less known, and so. Uh, to talk about this and, and other and uh, other subjects, uh, we we invited Professor uh, Yoshiyuki Yamana, which is an architect uh, born in Tokyo, Japan, 1966. He graduated in Tokyo University in science, uh, 1990. Between 1990 and 1994, he, he worked in uh, Koyama Atelier. Between 94 and 2002, he studied and worked in Paris. École Nationale Supérieure d'Architecture de Paris-Belleville, and he worked in Atelier Henri Siriani. Uh, he's a PhD in the history of art. Um, since 2002, he, he has been a professor in Tokyo University of Science, Faculty of Science and Technology, Department of Architecture. He's an advisory board member of Dokomomo International, member of Dokomomo Japan, co-founder of Masiana, and visiting professor uh, Kanazawa Institute of Technologies, International Expert Committee, uh, member UNESCO World Heritage, uh, architectural work of Le Corbusier, an outstanding contributor to the modern movement and board member of Ecomos Japan. Uh, is, uh, as, uh, as president of the Komomo Japan, he will be hosting um, the, the Dokomomo conference in uh, 2020. I guess you all have the, the flyers. It will be in September. And the call for papers begins in uh, March uh, 2020. So all of you are invited to participate. Please welcome Professor Yamana. So, thank you very much. So very, I am very happy to come to Hibi here. And uh, especially I thanks for the Dokomomo Macau and uh, my friend. So today, uh, I uh, speaking about modern architecture in Japan. And after, after that, I uh, explain for the Dokomo Conference for 2020. So uh, uh, already, uh, he uh, uh, introduced my survey. I'm born in, in, uh, in Tokyo, and then um, I moved to the France uh, to uh, 1994. And I stayed there eight years. Uh, firstly, I, uh, I was a student of there. And then I worked for the Andy Sirianese Atelier. And also, uh, I teach in the French the uh, Ecole d'Architecture de Nantes. Nantes is a uh, west town of the France. So today, uh, today is uh, three things. 
Uh, firstly, it's a long, long part. It's a brief history of the modern movement in Japan. Uh, modern movement in Japan is, I don't know, the, uh, uh, the, here is uh, somebody knows well or not. And the second one is the conservation of modern architecture. I explained and the Dokomomo history and also the e-commerce and, and so on. And the third one is uh, I promote for the Dokomomo uh, 2020 Tokyo. It, organized, uh, it will organize uh, in uh, September uh, 2020. You know, uh, the next year, uh, we uh, invite not only the Dokomo conference, the Olympic game. So uh, in, the, in, in July, uh, there are many tourists, but in September, it's okay. We can organize something. So please come to Tokyo. It's not so far. It's five, five hours flight. Uh, so, um, uh, first three, uh, I explained for the modern movement in Japan. In Japan, it's, all, it's not the same history of the Macau. And he, uh, Japan is, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, before the Meiji Restoration. Meiji Restoration is uh, 1868. Before that, uh, in, uh, in Japan is close the, the uh, Close the country, so we have no communicate with other country. It's against the colonization of the European country. So we protect until uh, we are protected. We can say uh, closed the, until the 1868. The around just before the 1868, the American American military boat uh, they come to Japan along, along the Japan and push to open the country, open the door. And then after that, uh, we are discussed with uh, uh, several country and uh, they open, we open the country. So uh, from the, uh, before the Meiji Restoration, uh, this uh, era, uh, we consider the, for the, uh, before the moder mo modernization. So, uh, our modernization of Japan uh, began from the 1868. So uh, the modernization, it means westernization. So before the, before the 1868, we had no culture from the Western European country. So uh, it means occident, occ occidentalization and civilization. It's, how can I say, it's a, it's a synonym. Uh, uh, around the meaning of the modernization. So then 1868 is already European countries industrialized. So there is many heavy industries in, the, in Europe. So the first three, the Japan, uh, we began to the industrialization, or uh, it, it makes an industrialization. So uh, the Japan before is a samurai country the shogun is a president and the emperor, emperor is uh, beside. So shogun organized that makes uh, politics in uh, uh, all the Japan. So uh, after the Meiji Restoration, uh, the Meiji government bring the emperor from the Kyoto to Tokyo. So uh, we construct the Japan country uh, as a democratic uh, the country. So we make uh, some uh, end is the state of the strength of the military. It means that with the military, we protect because of the always there's some pressure from the American or uh, British or France, the military, uh, military pressure for the colonization. So we make uh, some uh, the discussion with uh, a European country. So at this moment in Japan, the, they construct for the university, for the architecture school, and then we invite the foreign uh, European teacher for architecture. So one of them is uh, a British one, uh, and then he, he, his name is uh, Josiah Kondo. He, he designed the Lokumeikan. Lokumeikan is, uh, uh, how can I say, um, that is a building for the, the party because of the before, before the major resolution, they have no party 
uh, no habitude to make the party with dan dance party or something like this. So we invite many ambassadors to, to go there and then to, to, to discuss uh, many things for the, the, uh, for the politics. So that is designed by Josiah Kondo. And center, the Bank of Japan, also the construction in 1896, it's a one of the students of the Josiah Kondo, uh, uh, Kingo Tatsuno, he designed that. And Kingo Tatsuno, he is a very good student. He was the first student of Japan the, for the architecture. And then he is very, uh, 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 the Josiah Kondo professor, he likes very much the, the Kingo Tatsuno, so he, that uh, Josiah Kondo bring to, uh, the, him to study in, in London, uh, in, in England. So he come back to, to Japan. He designed the Bank of Japan, uh, Tokyo's, Tokyo Central Station, many things. And left, uh, right one is Old East Palace, is uh, constructed in 1999. Uh, that is, the uh, architect is uh, the, the uh, uh, Katayam, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Tokuma, Tokuma, Tokuma Katayama. Tokuma Katayama, uh, he is, uh, he studies abroad in a European country, and he, he, he likes very much the French Renaissance style. So he designed many things, the French Renaissance style in Japan. S and so the, the first uh, uh, era of Japan uh, for the architecture is a westernized style. It means that we follow the Western system, and then uh, there is a, some professor, and then there's a, some student go to the Europe, go study abroad in Europe, and then come back to Japan and to design the, the westernized style. You know, in the 19th century, in Europe, also the the historicism style, historical style. So um, uh, in Japan, also the, we follow the uh, this style. So there's many uh, westernized style. Before before this slide, there's many building is uh, constructed in uh, in the, uh, the stone or bricks uh, and so on. But uh, uh, something very interesting in Japan at this moment, there's a wooden Western style architecture. Because, you know, uh, there's not, before the, the major restoration, there's no, uh, how can I say, the stone constructor or the steel constructor. So uh, there's only wooden uh, carpenter. So in fact, the wooden carpenter uh, continue to work we, for, for the westernized style. So this building, the left side, the former Iwasaki family's house uh, constructed in 1896, is looks like the westernized style, looks like the, wood, uh, the stone structure, but it's completely uh, structure or finishing is in, or, or by wood. So, and uh, the, uh, that is the center of the Tokyo. In nowadays, we can visit easily. The every day we can go there, uh, open air museum. So uh, uh, you can find that is a wood construction. And the, the light, light one is a former Hirosaki City Library. Uh, that is one of the uh, north uh, the side of the Japan. The, this, that is a city, the Aomori. Uh, Aomori, in the Aomori Prefecture, the little town is uh, Hirosaki. Hirosaki is uh, also is important for the Mai Kawa's I will explain the architect who worked in the Le Corbusier's office. Uh, the, their family comes from there. So this one also, it's westernized, it's a little strange, but it's a, it's a, it's a wooden construction followed to the, to the westernized style. So that kind of things, wooden Western style architecture, it's we call Gyofu architecture. It's in Japanese, Gyofu. It means uh, closed Westernized Western style architecture. It means it looks like Western architecture, but 
it's uh, a fake, we can say, we can, uh, we can say the fake uh, westernized style. Anyway, that kind of thing, is, uh, uh, that is not, we say it's westernized style, but uh, we can find that kind of things in the, in the Europe uh, anywhere. And uh, this one is uh, 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 the Mit uh, Mitsui, uh, Mitsui Gumi, uh, the central office. Uh, that is constructed in 1872, so just after the Meiji Restoration. And the light, light one is uh, 1876. Uh, that is one of the, the first school of Japan. Uh, uh, this building is, is not a symmetric, uh, but we call this one is westernized style. But both one is not, we can say, uh, we, can, we cannot say the westernized style. But it's, uh, uh, the, the, that kind of things before, uh, there's nothing in Japan. So uh, before that, uh, be, uh, so uh, at, just after the major restoration, we follow the style of westernized style. Uh, but that is always mix the Japanese traditional way for the technology of the technology, and we uh, look. Uh, we uh, we have to construct the equipment uh, of the building uh, for the westernized system: the school, hospital, uh, the uh, many things, the city hall, uh, many things, uh, and after that, 1920s. Uh, the you know in the western western uh, western countries there's many modern movement you know there is uh, some uh, Italian futurist and also the uh, the in France is a modern movement uh, around the Rue Corbusier and also uh, the Russia uh, is a constructivist there's many things. So, and also the, in uh, Vienna, uh, there is a session. So 1920s, uh, the group of the Tokyo University, uh, group of the student of the Tokyo University, uh, the, uh, learned that kind of movement in Europe, and then they decided to uh, establish uh, the Bundiha, Bundiha group. That is very important. That is 1920s. And uh, Bundiha, it means uh, in, 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 in German, German language, is a secession. And also uh, in English or French is a secession. Uh, don't, uh, so uh, the Bundiha group is established. Uh, why they uh, established the Bundiha group? Because uh, just 1910s, there's many earthquakes in the United States, in the Europe, uh, the, the south of the Europe. So we, and also in Japan, also the, there's several big earthquakes. So there's many engineers, uh, uh, they uh, make a research uh, for the, uh, uh, with a system of the reinforced concrete to make the, uh, some new law for the urbanism and uh, uh, for the architecture uh, against, uh, urbanism, urbanism, uh, against uh, the earthquake. So the many engineers uh, get uh, power inside of the Tokyo University and the architecture society in Tokyo. So the group of the Tokyo University students, they prefer to stay in the design so they uh, make a established a secession group. It's not only against the Western style or a historical style. Uh, they also against only the point, uh, the, the design from the point of view of the engineer. So uh, he, they uh, make an uh, exhibition and they publish the catalog of the uh, secession uh, group. So this young architect uh, have the, uh, suddenly uh, have the power of the 
uh, new modern architecture. There's many, uh, 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 how can I say, it? the, 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 the industrial, and also uh, the many, how can I say, the capital, uh, big powers, uh, persons interested in the modern, uh, modern movement. So, for example, Tokyo Asahi newspaper, he, the, his, uh, the president interested in this movement. So, uh, Ishimoto is uh, one of this, uh, this group, uh, designed in 1927, just seven years later. It, uh, he designed the headquarters of the newspaper company, just near the Yurakucho station, just, uh, just beside the Tokyo station. And also the Horiguchi Sutemi, uh, he is uh, one of the very important architect, modern architecture, architect for the modern architecture. He designed for the 1920 to two years later, uh, the, 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 there was uh, the exhibition uh, for the, the peace exhibition. So a uh, memorial tower he designed. And also the Yamada Mamoru, uh, 1925, Tokyo uh, Central uh, Telegram Office. Uh, the, the design. So this style is there is arch, and also uh, so you, we can we can find some influence from the German uh, expressionism, but also uh, there's some uh, uh, sense of the modern movement architecture there. So so this one is uh, they construct with reinforced concrete. So new technology. So before that, the, there's many engineers get the power. So there's a uh, condition for the new form. So uh, they can design with uh, reinforced concrete possibilities. So uh, they realize that kind of things. And uh, after that, uh, there's uh, uh, some inf uh, influence from the exterior, foreign country. One of uh, the most important architect uh, is uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. Frank Lloyd Wright, you, you know very well, the Frank Lloyd American architect, American and uh, Japan also the, the, uh, the many, uh, many relation. So uh, Frank Lloyd Wright, uh, he got the success uh, until the 1910s. But 1910s, they, he got the problem with a the client. There's many uh, uh, ju ju juridic, uh, juridic problem there. So he abandoned uh, his office and to escape from the United States to come to Japan. And because they have the client, he has a client, that is the Imperial Hotel. Imperial Hotel is before, uh, it's constructed in the 1890s, and then 1922. Uh, the, the owner of the, front, uh, the, the Imperial Hotel, he demolished this building, the westernized style. And then uh, Frank Lloyd Wright, uh, he designed the second Imperial Hotel, that one. It is uh, 1923 they constructed, but unfortunately it's demolished in 1968 because of the uh, economy is growth and many building is uh, at this moment is, is uh, disappeared in, uh, in Tokyo. So, uh, 1923, you know, you know uh, maybe some, someone knows, there is a big earthquake in Tokyo. That is very important for the, the Japanese architecture history. Uh, because, of, because of this earthquake, all the things is uh, turning uh, turning back before the 1920s. So engineer gets the power uh, to, to, to organize uh, politically. So uh, reinforced concrete system is uh, reconsidered and, that, and so on. 1923 is the opening, opening day of the Imperial Hotel of the Frank Lloyd Wright. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright building is, you can, uh, maybe you can see uh, here, there. And this one, Imperial Hotel, all the building around the Imperial Hotel is uh, de demolished because of the earthquake. Uh, because the Frank Lloyd Wright system is a uh, little, how can I say, uh, firstly, it's asymmetric, 
and also the structurally the symmetric and also there is some uh, they respect for the, uh, the some some part is a reinforced concrete system. So because of that, the Frank Lloyd Wright gets a power also, and then uh, the uh, many architect follow the Frank Lloyd Wright. And Frank Lloyd Wright, he stayed in Japan and he designed several buildings. It's a uh, the three building is important. One is a private house, and that is uh, it's not uh, it's not not open for the public, so uh, we cannot uh, the speak about that or the publicly. And uh, the this one is a Tazaemon Yamamura house. It's near to, uh, near Kobe. Uh, it's now is uh, registered as a uh, monument. Uh, uh, historical historical building in Japan. So he designed uh, the, he finished the 1924. And uh, Jiu Gakuen uh, Myonichikan, it's, uh, uh, it's constructed in uh, 25. And two building is nowadays is uh, uh, classified as a historical building. And uh, uh, this building is this year, just three months ago, it's finished the renovation, so we can go to visit there. And then Jiu Gakuen Myonichikan also did it uh, uh, restored uh, the 15 years ago. So now it's a good condition, and we can freely to visit, uh, but we have to pay to visit. And then you can take the tea here. So that is in the center of the Tokyo. Two buildings he designed. So, uh, do you know the, just I uh, mentioned for the Frank Lloyd Wright building, it's uh, this year uh, we discussed uh, and judged for the World Heritage List. So, uh, the 2016, so three years ago, first uh, do dossier we were, uh, was examined and then uh, they refused because there is some problem for the, uh, the world heritage system. So I little I uh, help for them, for the American, American uh, colleague. And then now uh, they put in the exa examination. They will discuss in the, uh, the beginning of the uh, next month. And then I think it will be uh, succeeding in the uh, classified. So inside of this, uh, that is the first dossier. So now is only the eight building, so not not the ten ten building. Now is the eight building. So uh, uh, inside of this new dossier, uh, there is some possibility of the extension of this World Heritage List uh, of that. That is also the important. It's one of the most important uh, Frank Lloyd work uh, outside of the United States. So uh, uh, now, uh, after the earthquake, that what kind of things uh, 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 worked in Japan? Uh, the Dojunkai apartment. Dojunkai apartment is a public housing. Public housing is reinforced concrete, and also the, uh, it's very good for the structure against the earthquake. But uh, 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 then 1923, uh, the big earthquake is a problem. It's not only the earthquake; it's fire, big fire. So there's many big law for the against the fire uh, from this moment until now. Is uh, we, we 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 work for the very uh, seriously. So this building, it's uh, uh, it's good for the structure and also the against the fire. And also the modernization of the lifestyle. So uh, this building is very important. So uh, there are several uh, uh, apartments inside of the center of the, uh, the Tokyo and the Yokohama. Uh, they, we, they construct. Dojunkai is a, a public organization. They, uh, they built the many uh, public housing there. But unfortunately, the, the 2013, there's no more. Uh, all the apartment is demolished. 
because of the high rise economic or financial problem. And also 1926, the Sumitomo. Sumitomo is uh, one of the most important the trading company in Japan, the Sumitomo uh, Trust. Sumitomo is headquarter, that is a bank. Uh, they construct in 1926 this building. It's one of the, uh, the uh, uh, beginning of uh, the modernization building. We can say it's a historical uh, language, classical language, but uh, uh, the facade is a geometrical facade. So, and also the planning of the, this building is the, the, they respect the modernization and reinforced concrete system there. So uh, that is most, one of the most important ones. And uh, the, this one is uh, Chochiku Kyo. Chochiku Kyo is a uh, very small uh, building and uh, uh, very important for the modern movement architecture. Uh, architect, uh, his name is uh, Koji Fuji. He, is, uh, he was a professor. He, is a, he was a professor of the Kyoto Imperial University. The first one is the Tokyo Imperial University, and then, uh, and then the second uh, important university is the Kyoto University. But Kyoto University is very uh, late uh, for the architecture school, so he is uh, the first. The, the professor of the Kyoto University. So it means the Kyoto University established uh, very important, but it's uh, already the modernization era, uh, modern movement era. So uh, there is no, 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 uh, there is no professor for the classical style. So uh, they purely the studied the curriculum for the, uh, the architectural. Uh, for the architecture in modern movement. So uh, Kyo, Koji Fuji, he is an engineer, but he, is, he likes very much, he designed many things, many housing. He, design, uh, he, uh, he makes a research for AI hygiene. So uh, 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 he, he, he working for the, the light, natural light, and air condition system. But natural air condition system, that is uh, uh, the illustration for the, his housing. That is very important. It's on the hill. And there is uh, some tube in the ceramic tube uh, from the uh, here. So all the, all the uh, uh, air, air, fresh air comes to there. And then they're uh, thinking about the, uh, how the air moves inside of the house. That is very important for this moment. And then he, t he, he, t he makes a theory for the air condition system and also the, the air, uh, the natural light system. And the, uh, that is one of the, uh, the main topic today is uh, Le Corbusier. Le Corbusier is so important uh, for Japan, for the modern movement. So the, the Le Corbusier, you know, the, he is very, he comes to be the very famous 1922 for the Salon d'Auton. And after that, the Salon d'Auton, there are several Japanese that visit the Salon d'Auton in 1922. And several Japanese, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the member, of the Esprit Nouveau's review. So uh, there's many information comes to, the, to, to Japan from the 1922. So uh, in Asia, uh, the, this member of the Esprit Nouveau is uh, several in the, the, the Shanghai and also the Hong Kong, Hong Kong or Macau, I don't know, and also the Vietnam, because the Vietnam is a French colony, so there. So, and uh, uh, in, in, in Japan also, the, there is a, 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 around the 12, 12 uh, members of the Esprit Nouveau magazine. <clears throat> so, uh, 1920, from the 1922, he comes to be the, the, the little famous in Japan also. And uh, 1925, the, uh, the Art Deco exhibition in Paris, 
So he comes to very famous after 1925. And several professors of Japan at this moment, Waseda University or the Tokyo University, uh, they go to the Paris to visit and to discuss with Corbusier. And uh, the, the professor, the Kishida, uh, he, he, uh, Kishida is a professor of the uh, Kunio Maikawa, also the Kenzo Tange. Uh, the Kishida, professor Kishida bought the book of uh, Rue Corbusier and bring back to the, to the Tokyo. And then to give the Maikawa, because Maikawa, uh, his, his uh, uncle, is uh, one of the uh, more important member of the, uh, the International League. So uh, he speak, uh, he can understand the French. So the, his professor gives him the French book. And then he, he is following the, 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 uh, the Rue Corbusier's the books. And he decided to go to, the, uh, to the Paris to join the Rue Corbusier's office in 1928. And then he is working until the 1930s, Rue Corbusier's office. So he designed, he working for the, the Maison Luchier, Luchou, and also the Centre Soyuz, the Moscow, and Villa Sabor. So that kind of project, he, working, he helped to work there. So, <clears throat> That is one of the first uh, the architect who working in the Le Corbusier's office. And the second one, uh, there's a several, there's several, is a, uh, all the uh, Le Corbusier student, a uh, Japanese student is, uh, we can say the six, including the, uh, the Korean one. And Le Corbusier's, uh, the second one is uh, Junzo Sakakura. Junzo Sakakura, uh, the Maikawa, he studied in the Tokyo University for the architecture, but the Junzo Sakakura, he studied in the art history. So he never studied in the, uh, in the architecture, but he, he, he interested uh, as a history of art. Uh, his uh, uh, the bachelor thesis is uh, the Gothic architecture. So he interested in the Gothic and then he comes to interested in the Le Corbusier. He decided to go to the Le Corbusier's office, but he didn't uh, study in the architecture. So Le Corbusier asked to him to, to study uh, the architecture. It means not the Ecole de Beaux Arts because you know the Le Corbusier is he against the the Beaux Arts system. So uh, Le Corbusier asked to him to go to the engineer school. It's a uh, Ecole Travaux Public, uh, the Paris. So uh, from the 1931, it means that after finishing the, the Villa Savoie, he joined the Le Corbusier's office. But in the 1930s, there, there's a world uh, uh, crisis for the economy. And uh, there, so because after that, there's not so, no, no, no work for, of course, in the United States. And uh, the France is 1932, there's nothing. So there's many projects for the urbanist project. For example, the uh, uh, African, Arge, Algerian, Arge project for the urbanism. And then a uh, little uh, project for the housing. He, he worked for that kind of project. So uh, they come back to Japan and uh, 1930s in Japan, um, there is uh, some project. So uh, the Kunio Maikawa, he designed the 1932 uh, Kimura Industrial Laboratory. It's in Aomori, Hirosaki, I already explained. And also the, he uh, tried to the uh, Tokyo Imperial Museum there. But now uh, it's, it's, he, not, he, he cannot win the, this con uh, competition. Uh, the Japanese, uh, uh, how can I say, Teika Yoshiki, Japanese military imperial style uh, win. You know, the 1930s already in Japan is a uh, right hand gets a power. And besides that, the, the Maika, Kunio Maikawa, he, he worked for the Shanghai project. 
because of Shanghai, the mil Japanese military uh, goes to the Shanghai to take the many uh, power there. There's a m many friction there. But he, uh, the Japanese, uh, with the Japanese military, the many ban uh, ban bank and uh, industry goes to the China uh, in, from the Shanghai. So the, the Kunio, Kunio Maikawa, he designed the housing project with a reinforced concrete, precast reinforced concrete there. That is a, really the same system as the project of immovable villa of Le Corbusier. So they uh, designed that and they realized that. But I looking for this project the, the last year, but nothing, nothing uh, uh, exists or demolished, unfortunately. And also the Sakakura, the second uh, one of the, uh, the student of the Le Corbusier, Junzo Sakakura, he won the Paris International Exhibition, the Grand Prix. Uh, so he designed a structure, a metal structure, and he, 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 he realized a prefabrication system and a very transparent uh, building. Uh, constructed, but this also it's is uh, just uh, for the exhibi international exhibition. So it's just after the international exhibition they demolished, and also the Sakakura he designed for the uh, the man, man, uh, for the Manchuri uh, uh, the urbanism project. It uh, really looks like the, uh, we can say the copy of the Le Corbusier's urbanism, urbanism project. That is 1930. So I already explained the Frank Lloyd Wright and then Le Corbusier. And Frank Lloyd Wright, he cannot work uh, alone. He brings the several, uh, several uh, foreign, foreign architects. One of important is Antonin Lemon. Antonin Lemon, he, he came to, uh, to Japan uh, for the project of the Le Corbusier, and he worked for the, the Imperial, Imperial Hotel. And after the Imperial Hotel project, he stay in Tokyo and to, to, to open his office, and then he uh, designed many, uh, many buildings. Frank Lloyd Wright, uh, sorry, the Anthony Raymond, Anthony Raymond, he is, uh, this, uh, uh, he is collabor collabor collaborator, he, uh, I forget his name, uh, he worked for the, the, before the Augusto Pere. So he designed many buildings as with concrete system and then uh, looks like uh, the Augusto Pere style. And after that, Anthony Raymond, uh, he designed that kind of housing. Uh, looks like not not at all the the Frank Lloyd Wright, Frank Lloyd Wright style, and uh, that is very famous in the important architecture housing his own house, Lenin's house, his own house. This house is the the brut brut uh, uh, reinforced concrete. The finishing is concrete, nothing, nothing uh, on. So uh, that we can say that is one of the first brutalism architecture we can say, but at this moment we cannot say the called that kind uh, that kind of style the brutalist. Uh, 1924. So that is completely uh, the reinforced concrete. So that is very epoch making, but also this was, uh, that was demolished, and also this summer house in Karizawa. Uh, Le uh, Anthony Lemond is uh, designed. Anthony Lemond is uh, the, the, he designed many wood housing. So that is one of the uh, famous, uh, important uh, summer house. But uh, we cannot see this one. This this here uh, that is a Le Corbusier's uh, uh, Uber complete. His works, the books of his work, and uh, volume two. Inside of this book, uh, Le Corbusier 
uh, uh, write it out, he is not happy because he makes uh, some project for the South America, and they Anthony Raymond is copied. The uh, Luc Corbusier uh, that doesn't realize this house, but Anthony Raymond. Uh, sorry, Anthony uh, Anthony Raymond uh, he realized that. But there has uh, some uh, letter exchange. The, but finally, uh, Luc Corbusier said he is happy because Anthony Raymond is good architect for the modern movement, and he, he designed better than him. It means uh, Luc Corbusier. He said so. Uh, uh, this project is uh, realized by the Anthony Lehman. And uh, Frank Wright has uh, also the Japanese collaborator, at, uh, Kamei Tsuchura. He, he, he worked in the Tariyasen in the United States. And then when he got the uh, project of the Imperial Hotel, he comes to Japan. Uh, here as uh, a Tsuchura also, the, he follows uh, his master. And in the 1920s, uh, he designed for the Frank Wright style. But 1930s, uh, uh, around the world, there is an international style uh, the start. So that uh, Kamei Tsuchura also, the, he changed the mind, the style, he changed the style. And to come to the international style, looks like the Deshti or Le Corbusier. So the Frank Lloyd Wright, uh, Tsuchura, when he, uh, uh, that is his own house, Tsuchura's own house, he, he, he finished his own house. He sent to the, to the Frank Lloyd Wright office, Tariasen, the letter with photo. But uh, he come to, he uh, writes back the letter to Tsuchura. His, uh, Frank Lloyd Wright said, oh, you also, you change the mind. You come to the, you falling down the, the international style. And then this one, he makes the, uh, here, uh, how, how can I say? The swimming air band, how can I say? We, I don't know <laughs> in English. So, you know, the, in, in the shipboat, there's uh, some uh, uh, for the, uh, the uh, something like that. Uh, not a platform for the if you use the, uh, the boat, the point, right? And then to to swim. How can I say? Springboard, huh? springboard, something like that. So, so he puts here, and then he uh, sent back the letter. It means the you likes looks like the Le Corbusier, and uh, you likes very much. Uh, the shipboat style, you know, <laughs> that kind of joke. And the the Le Corbusier, uh, I already explained the two important architects, uh, my, Kunio Maikawa and also the Sakakura. Kunio Maikawa, he brings uh, many ideas from the modern movement for the theoretical idea, the prefabrication or uh, mechanical uh, machine machine style, and the Junzo Sakakura, he runs many urbanist uh, projects uh, from Le Corbusier, and then he brings uh, many urbanism point of view. So the uh, uh, Kishida, Kishida is a professor of Maikawa, and the Kenzo Tange, the professor also the Kishida. So uh, Kenzo Tange, he, 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 when he was a student of the high school age, he saw the Central Soyuz project, and he falling down to the the Luc Corbusier's uh, speed, and then he always uh, follow the Luc Corbusier system. Uh, it's a uh, it's uh, uh, sorry, the, not the Central Soyuz, uh, Parade Soviet, Parade Soviet. The, he saw the magazine in high school, and this photo, I don't know this uh, uh, Hiroshima's his his. Uh, his uh, high school is Hiroshima, but uh, his Hiroshima's high school uh, library, there is a, a project of uh, Luc Corbusier, is uh, amazing. And the, this, so the, the Kenzo Tange, he finishing the school, uh, the University of Tokyo, and then he entered the Kunio Maikawa's office 
and the end he, he designed the Kishi Memorial Sports Center like this. And then he's, he, he, he tried to the competition of, of that kind of thing. And uh, that is uh, before the war. But uh, the after the war, uh, the, the, you know, uh, the, the, the uh, Second War, Second World War, uh, uh, very, uh, how can I say, very important changement for Japan. And then Japan lose this, uh, the, the war. And then uh, American atomic bomb, Hiroshima and Nagasaki 1945. And many buildings, uh, many uh, important cities, that is Tokyo, and that is uh, Hiroshima, is all the demolish. So after that, so uh, the Kenzo Tange, he makes a Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park. So that is the original uh, the model uh, for this project. Nowadays, this one is constructed, and then now the two one is constructed, but it's not the same shape. That is the original shape they always cons uh, keep. And then this one is not realized. It's, it comes from the Luko BGS, the Soviet Palace project. So uh, the Kenzo Tange, he wants to make the, some uh, uh, figure here, but they cannot have the not so enough money budget. So he realized just for the Isamu Noguchi's the sculpture here. And then here, the, the, the piloti is, uh, looks like the Swiss pavilion of the Ruko Vigie. And uh, 1950s, there is a uh, many uh, project in Japan. The Kunio Maikawa also, the, they have the many modern movement architecture. The Nippon Sogo Bank is near the Tokyo Central Station, but this is demolished. 1954, the Kanaga Prefecture Library and Music Hall, that is, is renovated. Uh, just one month ago, it's finished. And so now it's uh, maybe we classified as a, a historical building. And then Harumi flat, Harumi apartment. That is uh, Maikawa's one of the most important work, 1959. That he followed the uh, Luke Orbiger's unit diversification system. Uh, but unfortunately, it's uh, demolished the 20 years ago. So I, I want to say, just I, I have seen the near from here, uh, the, you know, the, the Luko Vigier's apartment system, uh, the, the uh, Macao, we can find that kind of things. But uh, now it's a sensitive project, you know. Uh, maybe it will be demolished, I don't know. Uh, I hope you keep. Uh, and then, uh, unfortunately, this is demolished and uh, we keep one block in in the museum, but just one block. That, uh, that is a pity. We have to discuss after. And uh, Junzo Sakakura, the, the second one, he designed the same system as the International Exhibition 1937, Japan's Pavilion. And this one is uh, all the uh, structure, met uh, uh, metallic structure. Uh, that is, is a danger for, uh, for the demolition. It was 20 years ago, and I worked for that very seriously. And then politically, I uh, pushed the many buttons. And then uh, finally, uh, they, we can keep this one. But the owner is changed. So function before the modern art, but nowadays, is that uh, Shin, uh, the shrine was a temple museum. So inside of that, there's many, how can I say, the traditional, the samurai uh, treasure there. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's not so bad for me, but uh, uh, function is changed. And then that is an institute, Funko Japone, uh, that is center of the Tokyo, uh, that is Kamakura, and that is Tokyo. In 1951, uh, there's many projects uh, between the France and Japan uh, after the war. Uh, because of the Japan and France, there is uh, some ACO uh, 
between the France and Japan for the culture. So that is a language school, French. So I studied there. And also, the, the Sakakura, he, he studied the urban project. It's urbanism and architecture is mixed. So urbanistic architecture uh, in Japan, there are many. The central station, the terminal station of the, the Shibuya station is a private railway company, and then department store, and the, the theater, and uh, many things. It's a complex. So that is very interesting. So if you go to the sh Tokyo to visit the Shibuya and the Shinjuku, the Shibuya and the Shinjuku, Junzo Sakakura, he designed for the 1950s. And uh, that is uh, most important for me. Uh, 1959, the, the, the Luc Corbusier uh, finished the uh, work for the Western Art Museum. And 1959, that is Ueno. That is uh, uh, the, the venue for the, uh, the next year's Dokomo International Conference there and the Tokyo Bunka Kaikan. And the Tokyo Bunka Kaikan designed by the Kunio Maikawa and the National Museum of Western Art is uh, the Luko Vijay design, but mainly the Sakakura, he helped to work for this project. So here is a Western Art uh, Museum of Luko Vijay. And this one is a Tokyo Bunkakaika, Opera House, a theater complex. So these two buildings is, uh, is a, a group of this uh, group uh, architecture. It means the Rue Corbusier, the first sketches, he designed the three buildings, the uh, museum, main museum, and the performance theater, and also the uh, uh, temporary exhibition gallery. So the, uh, and then here is very important. So three cultural facilities makes some forum uh, as uh, Aten. So that, uh, that this uh, exterior space is very important for the Corbusier. So nowadays, uh, this, uh, this one is uh, classified World Heritage. So after that, 1960, uh, the, 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 there, uh, you do know the 1950s, CIAN, Congrès International Architecture Architect Modern, uh, to, to, to discuss a modern movement. There is, uh, there is some uh, collapse. And then because of the, because of the housing pro mass housing project and the urbanism, so uh, uh, there, uh, uh, many young architects cannot follow for the master of the Luke Corbusier's generation. So uh, the, uh, the uh, Team 10, Team 10 is established. And then Team 10, uh, they discuss after the modern movement, but in Japan, uh, the, at the same time, they follow the Team 10's uh, philosophy, but uh, they establish for the metabolism, 1960s. In the 1960s, uh, the Japan, Japanese government organized a Tokyo World Design Conference. At this moment, the young generation architect, uh, Kisho Kurokawa and Kikutake uh, Kiyonori, uh, they, uh, and also Otaka and Fumihiko Maki, uh, they make, make, uh, 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 establish the metabolism, that kind of things, that kind of project. So 1964, the Olympic game, the, the last Olympic game is uh, the invited. And then Kenzo Tange is uh, very, uh, comes to be is, uh, very famous for the, with this project. So, uh, Yoyogi National uh, Gymnasium, this one. Unfortunately, uh, last week, uh, the engineer for this, uh, for this gymnasium, he, he passed away. Uh, uh, I, I, I wait for the next year's conference uh, with him, but he passed away. Kenzo Tange also, the, he's gone uh, 20, 20 years ago. And now uh, uh, we discuss this building is very important. And then to push to the World Heritage List. So just, I have to uh, think about the time. But just for the conservation, the second part, conservation of uh, modern architecture. 
just I uh, explain brief history of modern movement. And now, now uh, many buildings I already mentioned, but almost the building is demolished in Japan. Uh, or most, most of them is demolished in the 1960s and the 1970s because of the Japanese economical, the, the, the economical uh, growing. And this one, uh, Imperial House, Imperial Hotel, uh, the, they demolished around and they just the center, they uh, bring to the Meiji, Meiji Village, Meiji Village Museum in, near the Nagoya. So we can visit just one part, but we cannot see in, inside of the Tokyo. But uh, before, uh, uh, after the demolition, the, of, uh, always there is a conservation politics begin from the, after the uh, vandalism. It means many demolition, so we have to think about the, for the conservation to keep in the building. So the Japanese government uh, decided finally that kind of things. We work for the Dokomomo. Uh, Dokomo Japan is makes a, a list for the 20 important building, uh, 1999, uh, this one. And then uh, this one, uh, this Hizuchi Elementary School, it's a wood school and uh, uh, it's finished in 1958. Uh, this building is classified as uh, uh, cultural important, uh, important cultural properties to 2012. And this one is a Togo Murano, Watanabe Memorial Hall. It's, uh, uh, it's near the, uh, uh, the west part of Japan, and <coughs> that is classified 2005. And also the Hiroshima, the Tange's uh, Peace Memorial Museum. It's concerned in 1955. It's classified the important cultural property in 2006. And uh, the Western, uh, sorry, that is not good. The we uh, Western Art Museum of Le Corbusier is uh, the uh, important cultural property in 2007. So, uh, there are several buildings is uh, considered as uh, important cultural properties by Japanese government, it, but not so much, not so many. Uh, uh, it, that is in, inside of Japan. But I have to explain a little for the Dokomomo International. Dokomomo International uh, began uh, from the, uh, 30 years ago. Uh, that is Dokomomo first. Uh, uh, meeting is in, in Eindhoven is a Netherlands, and then uh, Dokomomo uh, Eindhoven statement uh, they uh, write it out 90, 1990. So next year the 30th anniversary of the Eindhoven statement, and after that 1994 World Heritage Committee of UNESCO. He, they uh, write it out the global strategy for the representative, for the representative balance and uh, credible World Heritage List. Because there's many problems of the World Heritage List of 90, uh, around the 1990. Because many European, especially Italian, Spanish, French, the, that kind of uh, the Latin, European country have the many, uh, many uh, list, and uh, many list, and also the religious Catholic uh, building is uh, classified. So we, we discuss. Uh, we have to uh, uh, the the open the criteria for the World Heritage uh, listing. So uh, uh, there is the industrial heritage also. Uh, we have to um, uh, uh, the study, and also the 20th century's uh, modern movement of architecture. Also, we have to make, we have to join the list. So, uh, the, after that, there's many uh, the 20th century's modern movement architecture 
comes to the join the World Heritage List 1990s. After the 2000s, there's many. For example, Bauhaus, Bauhaus building, and also uh, the, uh, the Destio house, Schroeder house, uh, many things. So that kind of, that kind of atmosphere there, and then uh, the Dokomomo also work together. And uh, in fact, Dokomomo pushed to the World Heritage Center to make that kind of dossier. And then Dokomomo helped for the World Heritage List for the 20th century's uh, heritage. And uh, uh, firstly, Dokomomo is uh, working in the west part of the European country, but uh, open to the Asia. And the first country of Dokomomo branch is uh, the Japan, 90, uh, two, uh, 1920, uh, 1998. And from the 1998, we organized many things. They published the uh, magazine and makes an exhibition for 100, uh, firstly 20 and 100 and 150. And nowadays, 270 the site is inside of the list of the, uh, the, the Dokomomo Japan. And also, I work for the, from the 2002 uh, for the World Heritage for the Rukol Vizier. So the, uh, uh, I, we tried three times, and finally, it's uh, listed is 2017, so just three years ago. And uh, now, we and uh, Rui also, uh, we work for the Maseana project. Maseana is ASEAN. ASEAN is a very uh, nowadays developing country. There's many important buildings is uh, demolished nowadays. Every day, every day is demolished. So we, uh, but there's no list for the important architecture for the modern architecture, modern movement architecture. So we, uh, I asked to the Japan Foundation that that is a foundation from the the Minister of the Af uh, Foreign Affairs, uh, they budgeted for this project, uh, Masayana project, from the 2015, that uh, continue until the next year. So next year's Dokomo conference is also important for the uh, Masayana project also. And uh, second one, uh, you, maybe you know, the Keeping It Modern project. That is the Getty Foundation, is American, American Foundation. Uh, they give some budget uh, to, to make the managing, ma management plan for the yeah. modern architecture. And then we got the, this grant uh, to put the Yoyogi Gymnasium project. And then we, uh, we have the budget and we worked together to make the uh, uh, management plan for the, this uh, monument. So uh, uh, this, this month, uh, this project is finished. And then I work with, with it's me, and this is Fumihiko Maki and Kengo Kuma. We work together and push this uh, Yorugi Gymnasium to the uh, as important cultural properties of uh, Japanese government. And then, if possible, uh, next year, I want to uh, classify it. I want to push for the World Heritage uh, tentative list of the Japanese government. So now, they, uh, now uh, that's the final part. Uh, I distribute for the everybody for the, this Dokomomo conference in 2020. So <clears throat> that is a call for paper. Uh, uh, <clears throat> this organization will uh, uh, taking a place the next year uh, of uh, from the 10th to 13th of September. So uh, the many person from the Macau uh, join this conference and then to send the, the uh, paper, there's many projects uh, uh, from Macau uh, to, to participate for the, 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 uh, the person who is a specialist for the, uh, the modern movement of heritage. That is a schedule, and the theme is inheritable resilience. 
and uh, sharing value of the global modernities. It means uh, until, until now, or until the five years or 10 years ago, the modern movement, uh, maybe it's, uh, you, maybe you also uh, consider the Western movement. The, I explained also the American Frank Wright comes to Japan and the Rue Corbusier comes to Japan. The uh, modern movement comes from <coughs> the Europe, but oh, modern movement is our culture now. So that is, it's not only the European sense. So we make the sharing value of the global modernities. So it's a, uh, all the globe uh, we discuss each region uh, uh, is uh, the own uh, culture of the modern movement. So uh, we make uh, the, that kind of uh, <coughs> the program. And the session is a, uh, it's an Olympic year, so the space of sports and urban landscape, modern housing, that kind of things. So please, uh, to, to, to looking for the, this uh, uh, website, and then this uh, address is, is in on the uh, different. So call for paper, I say uh, it's uh, August 30th. Uh, it's a uh, uh, deadline. So please send the title and abstract the 400 words. It's very light. So please send. And then uh, we uh, choose several articles and uh, uh, we da discuss uh, the, in Tokyo next year. So see you next September in Tokyo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Um, we will uh, begin now with the Q&A Q&A session. I will just begin with a uh, with a with a question. Um, you see that uh, one of the one of the most interesting aspects of the early days of the Japanese modernism after 1920s uh, secession is the influence of the uh, Japanese traditional construction. So, mainly I'm thinking about the, the temples. The, the axis, mm. how they think the, uh, the atmosphere and how they distribute the, the spaces. Um, in uh, Kenzo Tange's uh, project, uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the uh, exactly, the, <coughs> the Peace Memorial yeah. in Hiroshima, uh, we can see that in a way that he builds that, uh, that arch, uh, that um, he builds it in a way that focus on the on that building that he left from the destruction of the of the bomb. So mm -hmm. when you are there, you can see the building across mm -hmm. the same way that you can see a temple across the portic. Yeah. So you have that, that connection, and also on the other way, you can see in Frank Lloyd Wright construction in the in the prairie houses that he brings back to the U.S. Mm -hmm. So this logic of the temples. You feel that uh, the experience of the Corbusier, he brings back home this experience that he, that he, he gathers in, in Japan. I think that he applies mm. this, this knowledge. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, uh, the, you know, the, uh, uh, the Frank Wright, he interested in the Japanese art, ukiyo-e, and uh, also the Japanese temple also. So the imperial house, there is a, the, the, the water pond mm -hmm. in front of the facade that is, comes from the uh, Byodo in Shrine. Mm -hmm. That is uh, one of the spirit of the Buddhism way and the symmetrical uh, things. And also you, you mentioned for the, uh, the Kenzo Tange's Hiroshima's Memo Peace Memorial Park, that is the axis that uh, one of the historians say that comes from the uh, the, the Itsukushima Shrine, mm -hmm. yes. that is axe, exactly. and that is a port, uh, the gate of mm -hmm. the shrine. And that always there's some 
relation, uh, the traditional way, and also uh, the modern architecture. And Kenzo Tange, he published the, with uh, Walter Gropius for the Ise and Katsura also. So uh, there is a photograph, photograph book. And then uh, they explain the uh, mixed or ma marriage between the Japanese traditional space and modern movement. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a very special situation is created in Japan, uh, in the world, mm -hmm. we can say. Because, you know, uh, in, in, in a local religious way, they refuse for the traditional language, the historical uh, Western style or Roman or Greek style. And then, but in, in, <coughs> in Japan, it's uh, many uh, Western modern architects interested in the Japanese traditional space mm -hmm. or the horizontally continuous space or something and so on. So uh, the Bruno Taut, mm -hmm. Bruno Taut comes to, the, to, the, to Japan because he cannot stay in, the, in Berlin because of Nazi. Uh, uh, Bruno Taut is, comes, uh, is a left hand the part, part, uh, political party. So uh, he comes to Japan. But at this moment, Japan also is a right hand, the military government. Mm -hmm. But Bruno Taut uh, stay uh, in Japan and to publish the Japanese beauty. For, so, so that is, how can I say, it's some uh, complex situation in Japan, the modern movement and the Japanese tradition yes. and the military and the right hand and so on. And Rukol Vijay, your, your question, is a Rukol Vijay some influence from the J Japanese traditional way? Maybe uh, he, uh, he interested in the Jap Japanese art. Because 1910s, or before the 1910s, uh, around the uh, 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 1890s, there's many uh, Japanese um, art uh, arrived to, to, to Paris. And then Art Nouveau, uh, Echo de Nancy, and uh, also the Brussels in Paris also. There are many intellectual people interested in the Japanese art. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the basically in Paris, 1910s, there's many Japanese art. So there is some snobism uh, to uh, the group that they discuss for the Japanese art. But look, I looking for the many document uh, for the Luko Vijay Foundation, but I cannot find yes. for the, uh, the in his interest mm -hmm. for the Japanese mm -hmm. art. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's, it's kind of unbelievable that Corbusier only has that one building in, in Japan, the mm. Museum of Western Art, mm. given the influence that he had in, the, right. in, in Japanese uh, architecture. In, in fact, in fact uh, Luko Corbusier just uh, he visited the Japan one time. Mm -hmm. to, to see the site. But after the, uh, the finishing the building, he cannot come. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, until uh, the two years ago, the historian said, uh, Luko Vijay doesn't want to come to Japan because uh, of uh, the museum finishing is not so good. He, he was not happy, but it's not correct. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, look, I found the letter of the Rukol Vijay to the Sakakura. He said, when, he, he, he asked to the Sakakura, when you invite to Japan to see my museum? But in fact, Japanese government, there's many budget problem. They doesn't want to, okay. to, to invite. So, okay. you know, okay. <laughs> that, that was it. Yeah. Well, let's give the chance to the audience to have some questions. <coughs> you know uh, who, who designed the Dojunkai apartment in uh, Motesando, Oyama? Ah. Is it a group of architects or is it a specific one? How, how did they come ah. up with that? Who, who actually lead that uh, project? In fact, uh, uh, Dojunkai project is uh, it's a fun, uh, o uh, owner of uh, this project 
is a foundation, Dojunkai Foundation. So they found from the uh, ministry of the Japanese government and also the city. And uh, uh, this project is a pilot project, is a, a leader's project for the, the, the reconstruction for the, after the big earthquake. So there's a, uh, they established the group uh, between the engineer, fire engineer, structural engineer, and also the, the life, life, uh, new, new life uh, planner, uh, style, style planner, and also the architect. But that is a group. That is not the, the famous uh, uh, architect. But there's some, it's very bureaucratic uh, system. And uh, uh, af after from this group, there's several architects uh, working in the, the, uh, the, the public agency, but not independent architects. Uh, well, it's uh, like a uh, London, London Grand, uh, how can I say, uh, Grand G, G uh, I, I forget the name. There is a London uh, housing project also the same. So one more question. Uh, like you mentioned, Bruno Taut, he, had, he published the fundamentals of, art, of Japanese architecture mm -hmm. probably in the 20s. Mm -hmm. I still recall the, the book that might have been in, in Interesting influence. It was the, in praise of shadows. Ah. It was kind of uh, questioning right. the, the westernized right. uh, westernization of Japan. Right. But one thing that that I I I, I found quite interesting in right. the approach between the Corbusier and Japan is mm -hmm. like the tatami works as a kind of modulor. Right. So there's a kind of, uh, kind of <coughs> dimension. When mm. you stay in horizontally sleeping, it's inside the tatami right. or the vertical. And is, th is there any work that actually connects the tatami uh, measurement of space? Because in, in the West, we say like nine square meters. But ah. in Japan, you say four and a half tatami, oh, yeah. and everyone knows th right. what it means. But if you say nine square meters, Probably architects and uh, engineers understand, but the uh, normal person have no idea uh, how much is nine or ten. So the mm. tatami actually is more into the culture of uh, when you rent a room, they say it's nine, ta eight of tatami, course. and everyone knows right. the size. Right. Is there any uh, work that relates the, the modular idea and the, act the tatami? It means yeah. a local vision modular and yeah, the, the idea of having a kind of a modular. Uh, there is a several, several books I, I see from the European way or American, but uh, there is no, no, nobody, no Japanese work for that because of for us is a uh, rarely. It's already there. <laughs> they already there, and uh, I, I wonder. Uh, he, uh, he mentioned also. The local budget is interested in that kind of things or not? I think I'm sure. I'm sure the local budget is interested in Japanese that kind of things, because the way of the his way of thinking uh, is really is changed the because of the uh, Sakakura, not the Maikawa Sakakura period. He changed to the Japanese spirit. Uh, and also, there is many letter between the local vision and the Sakakura. After, even after uh, Sakakura uh, de depart, de depart from the, the France, local um, uh, vision is interested in the uh, beauty. Uh, how can I say the beauty, aesthetic of uh, the Japan, uh, the how uh, the Japanese thinking. For the for the architecture or some space or something like this for the for the for the for the city or urban planning also. So uh, extension to the garden itself, hmm? the opening and the extension from the house to the garden also right. quite open from right. traditional architecture. Right, the, uh, it's also, and also the you know the how the local visitors working for the. Uh, 
the uh, Chandigarh project is how he divide is it's a uh, looks like a Chinese or Japanese way of uh, how makes a uh, urbanism. So there is a grid is fast. There's many things. <laughs> Uh, there any more questions? Anyone? Yes, I have one more. In the <laughs> okay. church, okay. the church from uh, Kenzo Tange in in Tokyo, ah. I, I think it's Saint Mary Church. Uh, Saint Mary Church. The, now the material it looked like uh, steel, uh, but the original was concrete. The the the, the one. Ah, that, it's uh, a finishing. The finishing, yeah. Ah, the structure is reinforced concrete. The interior is uh, the no finition. Yeah. And the exterior is a galvanium, gar, uh, galma, galvanized the, 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 the organizer. Steel? Steel. But this was the original project like that? Oh yeah, of course, oh. of course. Right. So it's still... Uh, it's a it's respect for the original one. I think it's classified as a... Uh, uh, already classified. Uh, uh, not, 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 yet. not yet, on not on the way. Just uh, two year, three years ago, I make uh, uh, the paper to the Minister of the Finance to establish for the 20th Century Conservation Bureau in the ministry. So it's all just to it's, be. Yeah, it's one of the most magnificent pieces of architecture. Because I think the material was to give that uh, ethereal and uh, uh, aspect to the building. You know, it kind of melts with the, with the sky. It's, Magnificent. Nice. Um, is there? Yeah. Hey, young man, I wanted to, to ask you uh, from uh, the, your uh, your presentation on um, involvement of uh, um, Frank Lloyd Wright and Bruno Taut with Japan in the period. Uh, it seemed like uh, they came in a circumstantial way, uh, but I'm curious to know uh, to what degree. The, the the Japanese during the beginning and middle of the uh, 20th century, uh, the government was uh, uh, politically motivated in the process of modernization through the internationalization of architecture uh, and people of uh, certain renowned name uh, in Europe and America. The the first three the I can say the it's. Uh, related always political condition. The before the war, uh, you know, um, uh, it's from uh, uh, around the first world war, the Japan comes to the big country suddenly because of the the Japano lose war, uh, Japan win, and then after that Japan join. The, the International League, and uh, th that is one of the most important period. And uh, uh, before that, before that, the Japan is not equal country; is European country, <coughs> American, and Japan. And uh, the uh, around the nine, uh, 1890s, uh, Japan comes to the good uh, comes to the uh, good situation. And after the First World War, because of the industry of heavy industry of Japan, uh, already after the Meiji Restoration, is uh, they have the, uh, uh, some level. And in the First World War, I already explained you that there is some industry work for the First World War. So they suddenly very rich, rich country in Japan at this moment. So. The United States, American, they uh, afraid of Japan, and then after the uh, the American uh, push uh, the, 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 to make the, the quiet the Japan, and because in Japan also uh, they goes to the, uh, the China, Shanghai, the colonize other countries. It's afraid for the other country, you know. So. Uh, that is uh, uh, around the First World War. And uh, so at this moment, uh, uh, Japan believe uh, they are the same situation as uh, 
uh, European country, they want to believe. So if there is a, some uh, the modern movement going up, the Japan catch, and then uh, we make uh, some modern movement together. Uh, so that is a very strange situation because you know the, that kind of things that through the the opinion of the professor of the university, the professor of the university goes to Europe to just to to choose the new things. So so Japan is uh, really interested in the modern movement, and but ninety. 40s, 30s, at the end of the 1930s or 40s, the military said the European modern movement is left hand. It's not so good. So they come to the, to the uh, how can I say, to, to close them. And after the World War, that kind of things. Is right hand is not so good, so modern movement gets the power, 1950s. So uh, I, I, I explained very simply, but because of that, uh, uh, in Japan, the modern movement always very good condition to, to keep the power. Right. And also the, uh, the French relation and German relation, it's not... Uh, we are independent from the situation of the, the Second World War condition uh, because uh, Japan uh, work with Nazism, but after the war, we forget. And not uh, because of the American politics, they doesn't uh, push this point. So we work together as the German and the French and uh, many American, so modern movement there. Um, any more questions? Okay. I guess that's it. Thank you, Professor Yamana. Thank for, you very much. For joining us. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.